Exercise 1. Listen to the conversation about the Youth Wildlife Week and complete the activity table below. Ida, have you seen the notes of the meeting about the activities for the Youth Wildlife Week? I've got the file but I haven't read it yet. I've heard that there are lots of interesting activities. Yes, there are. There are some that I really like. Tell me more. OK. For example, there is a presentation called Internet Trade and Endangered Animals. Internet Trade and Endangered Animals. Yes. It's about how body parts of endangered animals are illegally sold online. It makes me feel very sad that some people are so selfish and silly. Both sellers and buyers only think about themselves. Yes. I hope the presentation will make people more aware of the problem. Anyway, the second activity is less sad. It's a video show called Funny Diet and Funnier Behaviour. Oh, Funny Diet and Funnier Behaviour. Yes, it's about funny diets of different wild animals. Also, it shows some really funny and hilarious behaviour of some wild animals. Well, I surely will go to this video show. So will I. The next activity that I want to join is a workshop called Relationship Between Ecosystems and Our Food Sources. I think it will be a very interesting workshop. Many of us know about protecting ecosystems, but we never really understand how ecosystems are related to our food sources. That's right. I believe if people know the important relationship between ecosystems and our food sources, more people will pay attention and they will be more willing to take action to help. Yes, I agree. So, any more activities that interest you? Yes. There's a video game called Hunting the Illegal Hunters. I've seen some staff members play the game as a trial. The game is about how a team of wildlife police officers hunt down illegal hunters of wild animals. It seems very exciting. Well, just the name of the game is exciting enough. Hunting the Illegal Hunters. I can't wait to have a go myself. We can be a team. Yes. There's one more video game which is about the importance of protecting habitats, especially forests. The game focuses on how forest clearing makes animals go extinct and how protecting forests can save more wild animals. Oh! It's an educational video game. It aims to inform players about how forest clearing makes animals go extinct. So do players also learn about what kinds of animals are likely to become extinct when people clear forests? I'm not sure, Ida. I will ask about that. Yes, please. I like the idea of this video game. I may even ask my whole family to play the game so they know that clearing forests is not good for wildlife survival. I'll tell you once I get the answer. Thanks.